X-ray for all these years was really supposedly having my back. But when times got rough, where were you? You ran away. You didn't have my back. You didn't count on this change, did you? Well, I decided to do it for myself. This means more to me than any of your claps, smiles, or cheers. You sound like a broken record over and over again. But you know what? It's okay. Because a new change in LFW is coming. A new change, a new era in LFW is coming. X-Ray, I hear you, I hear you saying you're gonna make changes within LFW. I'm the one that can make the changes. You don't run things around here just because you're the new LFW champion. You can, you can yawn all you want. You won the LFW title at the last event. So, I'm gonna make a match take place next month, the LFW Uprising, between you. You're gonna put the LFW title on the line against the winner of the match we just had in the Fatal 4-Way, Mr. A.D. Scott. Even though that match is just a few days away, maybe less than a month, let me be the first to say, I wish you the best of luck. Okay, yeah, I'll accept that little challenge. AD is little scraps, small potatoes. But what you can do, which you're pretty good at this, is to get out of my ring and let me continue my celebration as champion. Get out. So, as I was clearly saying before I got interrupted, this time is mine. The excellence era of excellence starts now. And uh, with this change happening, with me being champion, something, something else has to change. Hey, idiot. Go to the back and get the briefcase. Come on, bring it in the ring. 
Wow, wow, wow. Come on. And then you had to go underneath the bottom row. Come on, man. You put it down. You put it down. All right, now get out. You don't deserve to be here anyway. Move. So, a new era. A new legacy is beginning at LFW starting with me. So that means this represents the old, the terrible, the lost LFW. This represents the new LFW. This represents everything excellent about my reign starting now. And each and every one of you get the opportunity to be a part of this sweet, sweet time. So, with that said, Tyler Knight, <laughs> he was just too weak, gave in too easy. Your mom is too. This time, X-Ray takes what's rightfully his. Now hear my music. First off, I want to say, I know y'all see this hardware I carried out. Uh, as of last night, in Mountain Pine, Arkansas, I became the inaugural, the very first SCW Heavyweight Champion. Tonight, I was scheduled to work someone who over the last few weeks I've gained a lot of respect for. Insane shame. I went to this man's MMA fight. I watched him fight until he was unconscious. I watched him fight and give everything he had until he could not go anymore. As you can see, he's hurt. He had surgery on his eye to repair his retina, which had detached just a few days ago, which unfortunately means that he cannot compete tonight. However, I'm glad he's here because he still made it out. He still made it here to watch the show 
and I have the utmost respect for that. And I know that I haven't necessarily been the kindest human being, but I give respect where it's deserved. And I'm in such a good mood after last night that I refuse to not compete for y'all tonight. So, I am going to go ahead and make an open challenge to anyone that's in that locker room that wants to come out and give not this champion, but a heavyweight champion, a fight. You guys paid to see a main event fight. So, how about we have a main event fight tonight? Drops the four. 
dropping a leg. Into the cover. What an explosive man event we got here. Shot right there to the throat. Control. Drops on his body weight. And a cover. Two count only. These fans coming along trying to get Leo Keegan back to his feet here. It looks like his dream weekend may turn into a nightmare at the hands of Mark Wolf. Reaching the kneecap. The canvas in frustration here. And a kick right there makes contact with the spine. The nocturnal flame is writhing on the canvas. I've never seen somebody dominate Leo Keegan the way Mark Wolf has here in the early going. Mark Wolf putting a bad mouth on Leo Keegan. Those punches have very little behind them, but that one, that forearm sure did. Keegan over there in the corner getting tattooed with these forearms. Oh, nobody helped Leo Keegan managing to step out of the way. Spinning sidekick from Leo Keegan. And that one, if he's able to capitalize, could be able to change the momentum. Looks like a knee bar of sorts. Will Mark Wolf tap out? Center of the ring, really nowhere to go here. Using the bottom of his foot as a weapon. A forearm sends Leo Keegan stumbling. Keegan coming in. Caught. Getting blasted by these forearms. Wolf still taunting him, saying, come on, Leo. Taunting this crowd as he goes along. Leo King and Dexter, spear, 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 spear. But he can't capitalize. Too much damage being done from Mark Wolf. Two, using each other's own body weight 
just to get to their knees. Trading forearms. Not quite sure you want to trade forearms with the forearm wrestling. Look at this. Cover clutch. This is going to be it. Mark Wolf makes the air trying to fight out of it. Oh, look at Ripcord forearm. And right back into it. Kagan has it sunken deep. There's no way Wolf's getting out of this. Wolf trying to get to the ropes. Keegan preventing it. Wolf stand to a knee. He's got the body lock. This is going to be it. Mark Wolf is fighting. Here is your winner, Leo Keegan. What is this? This is the new era here at LFWC. It's LFW Uprising. And as we showed earlier, my guys could have had the tag team belts at any time they chose tonight. But now, brings me to you, Mr. Big Bad Leo Keegan, right? You know what you post on social media? I am Keegan? Is that what, is that what you post? But you come out here and you post words about, or you talk about kindness and you talk about respect and you're kissing babies and shaking hands. Would you go soft? Yeah. See, I brought <laughs> a couple of guys that are lost, that have no soul. They are the true symbol of violence, destruction, and devastation. And you see tonight, Leo, you're about to learn a valuable lesson. Guys, do what y'all do. No, no! 
You heard Bad Brad say you signed your death warrant.